Trust for British Tourism. New figures suggest that we're set to spend billions on the seaside resort of Clandidno to discover what's on offer. Paul, just for us, uh, for BBC Breakfast, and they suggest that we're going to spend about £9 billion this summer alone. That is a 10-year high when it comes to money spent on holidays this year. That is an extraordinary amount. But why? Well, 61% of us, so over half of us, are going to be spending our holidays here in the UK. And, and that's pretty unusual. that We've not seen those kind of levels for a really long time. And if you think about what we had before the pandemic, it was more like 40 41%, that kind of thing. And so actually, it's a big, big boost. What does that mean for the economy? Well, we think it's going to be something like a, an extra amount of £30 billion that's going to come into the UK economy. And for places like this, for North Wales, that's about a £3.5 billion boost, which is going to mean a lot to the 40,000 or so workers um, who are directly involved in tourism. And one of them here is Luca. Luca, good morning to you. Thank morning, you very much Victoria. for bringing your ice cream van down today. Um, what an amazing I was just listening to Matt doing the weather forecast. What an amazing week to be selling ice cream. It's been absolutely superb and to go hand in hand with the... This is just up the corner. Lynette, I discovered a South African accent here. So it's a pretty international place, isn't it? Uh, North Wales. What have you noticed about bookings this year? Morning. Accommodating that demand. Problem all around, isn't it? Thanks very much, uh, Lynette, and also Luca. I'm going to be buying an ice cream for you later. And I mean, it's not surprising that there's massive demand. Places like Earth North look around you, it's absolutely stunning here. We've got the Orm uh, just behind me over there. You know, it's a great place for walking, full of the famous Landidno goats, if you know about them. They went viral earlier on in the year when they started coming back into the town. Once roamed the plains and the, the mountains of India, and now in the streets of Wales. Some brilliant things about the place. Victoria, thank you so much. Enjoy. This is long. It is the longest pier in Wales. And what a spectacular place. Like This entire uh, resort was actually built in the latter half of the 19th century between these two amazing limestone crags here, uh, Little Orm and Great Orm behind me here. Uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. And new figures compiled for the BBC and for BBC Breakfast shows that actually we're going to get a boost of £9 billion this summer alone as a result of domestic tourism. And it's places like this that are really going to benefit. Why? Well, 62% of us are actually going to take our summer holidays here in the UK rather than going abroad. That is a 10-year high and compares to something like 40% that would ordinarily do so uh, pre-pandemic days. Do you remember those? Um, well, all of this means that we're going to get a little bit of extra money for the economy. Something like £30 billion is going to flow into the economy and about £3 billion or so is going to come straight here to uh, North Wales and probably into, well, one would hope, into some of your arms. Uh, you're the general manager, aren't you, of this pier, Simon Mason. Trying as hard as possible, it's uh, staffing levels are not as high as they should be for other reasons. Of those staffing restrictions, actually, we've got uh, Joseph Mound here, who's the director of North Wales. We're talking Dorset, Devon, Cornwall, all the top holiday spots. Have you put your prices up? No, very, very, if we... Still very much enjoying the traditional uh, season, uh, summer season down by the beach. I'm certainly one of them. And it's been really nice uh, this morning to be able to hear from some of you guys, some of you viewers over social media. You've all been getting in touch, telling me how special this place is for you there as well. I love the fact that you know that. I love the fact that you know that. I bet Matt messaged you, didn't he? And told you to spot it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I he it. didn't say that, but he did tell me. He did message me. Oh, it's so <laughs> lovely. So we're blessed this morning.